Hey everyone, it's Rainash30, and today I have gone through the evolution of Cyborg in the new 52 film series, the DC Animated Movie Universe. So to find out how his character has changed throughout the decades, allow me to fill in the blanks, and let's get started. Number 1. Justice League The Flashpoint Paradox We begin in the first film of the series, where we find Barry getting alerted about a break-in at the Flash Museum, leading to Cyborg and the League arriving to help him. Shortly after he helps defuse Zoom's bombs, the Flash resets the timeline and discovers that everything has changed, as now, Cyborg is now a full cyborg rather than some of his limbs being machine and works directly for the president. As Cyborg tries to get Thomas Wayne's Batman to join his team to prevent a world war between Atlanteans and Amazons, he helps rescue a skinny Superman and heads to stop Arthur and Diana. When he later battles Arthur, he sustains many injuries and dies. However, since the Flash reset the timeline again, we'll see an alternate version of him. Aren't you wondering how I found you? Thermal vision, cybernetic hearing, and total access to every camera on the grid. Must be a nice perk for being in the president's back pocket. I've told you it's not like that. As national security advisor, I can help all the people. While there's still a world left, we need you. Number 2. Justice League War Now we move on to this film which technically takes place in the past. But if you want to understand how the timeline works, watch my Batman Evolution video. Anyways, we find Victor Stone during a state final match where he makes an amazing play but notices that his dad has missed another game due to work. When he later goes to confront him and takes a mother box, it activates and the energy that explodes causes his body to deteriorate. After his father uses advanced technology to save him, which fuses to his body, he discovers what he is, learns Darkseid's secret invasion plan, and teams up with other heroes to stop him. While Cyborg learns he has the ability to open boom tubes, he helps send Darkseid and his army back to Apocalypse. But when they get honored in Washington and become the Super 7, he notices his proud dad in the audience. I'm a Terminator, an android, some kind of cyborg. I don't have a place anywhere anymore. <laughs> Looks to me like your place is with us. Number 3. Justice League Throne of Atlantis Now about a week after Darkseid's invasion on Earth, we find Cyborg still adjusting to his recent changes and getting new upgrades to his systems. Though when he learns the sub's missiles have gone missing, he investigates underwater, gets attacked, and barely escapes. He then gets the Justice League, and together, they investigate the sub and deduce that Atlanteans are the cause. But after uncovering that Arthur is the key, they help him face his half-brother Orm, who wants to rule the surface. When Cyborg faces Orm, and gets seriously injured, he is revived by Batman and plays Orm's confession of killing the Queen, which deems Orm a traitor and makes Arthur the new King of Atlantis. All systems operational. Seems okay. Nick, we gotta go! Am I interrupting? Yeah, you are. But we can pick it up tonight. Over dinner? I'd like that. That's what I'm talking about! Victory! Victor Not e. cool, man. Victor Not e. cool. Number 4. Justice League vs. Teen Titans More than a year following Orm's attack, we find Toy Master attacking Cyborg when the Legion of Doom attacked the League during the unveiling of their new HQ. But after they defeat them, an entity possesses Weather Wizard. Robin later disobeys Batman's order and is sent to join the Teen Titans. Though when Cyborg helps Batman investigate the entity, the League meets them and discover that Raven's father Trigon is responsible. While entities arrive and possess the League, Blue Beetle frees Cyborg from his control. Though after he gains consciousness, he booms the Titans to Raven's location. Realizing that Trigon has escaped, he joins the Titans in a journey to hell where they battle demons while Raven traps him in a crystal. But he also creates a connection with the Titans as he relates to them more than the League. Where does all that food go if you don't have a stomach? You don't want to know. What are you up to? Dark spots. They're hard to make out. Activate quadrant pixel enhancement. 
show off. Number 5. Justice League Dark About a year after Trigon's attack on the Earth, magical threats begin arising in Washington, D.C., Metropolis, and Gotham, where law-abiding citizens commit murders after seeing demonic creatures everywhere. When the Justice League assemble at the Hall of Justice to discuss this issue, where Wonder Woman and Superman reveal that the same magic problems are also occurring globally, we see Cyborg as one of the members attending the meeting. Number 6. The Death of Superman Now a year after the magical threats concluded, we find Cyborg helping Superman analyze Intergang's apocalyptic metal armor and connecting with his father after being distant for a while. When an asteroid leader crashes into the ocean, the League discuss their plan and Cyborg announces that they're above the UN's funding. But after Batman says he'll handle it, they discover that Doomsday was in the asteroid and has begun causing chaos. While the League arrives to face him, they begin fighting, but all receive severe injuries. And when Superman arrives to face him, they get into a clash, resulting in both of their deaths. As Cyborg sustained the most injuries, we see him with a new version of his armor when the League attends Superman's funeral. This armor's from Apocalypse 2. How do you figure? I'm wearing the same stuff, remember? We need to get this analyzed. Maybe one of the others could help. No. We need my dad. I know you two don't exactly... Nah, it's cool. Well, at least I won't be slowing you down on cleanup. Later, partner. Number 7. Reign of the Superman. About six months after Superman's death, four new Superman arrive when crime begins to increase in Metropolis. But we also learn from Diana that the League has been unbalanced since he died. They later get hired as the President's escort, where we find Cyborg surveying the crowd before her arrival. But when the president gives her speech, a boom tube opens and parademons attack. Though Cyborg and the League defeat them, the boom tube sends them to a planet where there are unknown creatures and Cyborg can boom themselves out from. Later, when Cyborg Superman Cyborg Corps take over, Lex Luthor uses a mother box to bring the League back, while Cyborg acts surprised and joins the others in fighting the corpse. Kid, if I find out LexCorp had anything to do with this. Look, Mr. Roboto, we got bigger problems. The boy's right. Let's go. Number 8. Teen Titans Go! vs. Teen Titans Now in another universe, we find the 2003 and 2013 Teen Titans forced to fight each other. But when both of their Trigons take the Ravens to another dimension, the Titans take a Rolagok from Santa Claus to reach them. While traveling between dimensions and being chased by Santa, they land in the DC AMU dimension where we see Cyborg and the other Titans. But after finding the Ravens, the Trigons transform into Hexagon. To fight him, Robin uses the Warlogog to summon the Teen Titans of Infinite Earths, so Cyborg and his team join the Infinite Titans in the final battle against Hexagon. Oh man, look at that guy! I see him. See? I thought you were the cool serious one, but that dude is the cool serious one! Uh-huh. Like, compared to him, you're like a silly little joke man! Like me, except worse! Number 9. Justice League Dark Apocalypse War Now in the last film of the series, we find the League assembled when Superman plans an attack on Apocalypse. However, after Darkseid sees their plan through Cyborg's eye, he prepares for their arrival. So when Cyborg booms the League there, they get ambushed and become slaves. When two years pass, Superman, Robin, Raven, Etrigan, and Constantine infiltrate Apocalypse to stop Darkseid where they find Cyborg fused into the planet. As he controls the new Furies, Constantine frees him from Darkseid's command. Though when Darkseid arrives, Trigon escapes, fights him, and provides a distraction. After Cyborg booms the League back to Earth, and sacrifices himself when he booms Apocalypse to no destination, the Flash attempts to reset the timeline to fix everything. So who knows, 
we might see Cyborg in the rebirth of the DC AMU. Victor? Can't come. Download your consciousness into a mother cube or whatnot. It doesn't work like that, genius. Now leave. Cheers. Looks like I get the last word. Booyah. And that's the end of Cyborg's evolution in the DC animated movie universe. Now if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and hit the bell notifications. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next evolution.